Christina has suffered the greatest loss a mother can experience. Through the unimaginable grief, she was determined to keep her heart open. Five. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten! Good job! My name is Christina Lebeshev, and this is my open heart story. Judson was a Christmas baby. We put his little carrier under that Christmas tree and we just marveled at the gift we were given. Life was good for us. We had this trajectory that just seemed great. And then when Judson was about 29 months old, I noticed that he started to stumble. I think it was the very next day that I went to give Judson his vitamin C tablet. And when I went to give it to him, he overreached for it and he underreached for it and he couldn't, it's like he couldn't get his hand on it. I took him into the doctor and that's when the doctor said, there's likely something serious wrong, seriously wrong here. And um, my heart sank. I had done enough research on the internet with Judson's symptoms to know that the worst case scenario that we could hear was the word leukodystrophy. Leukodystrophy is a disease that attacks the white matter of the brain. And uh, they sat us down, Judson was sitting in my lap, he had his green car playing on the laminate table. I remember it so vividly and waiting for them to start talking to us. And then they put something up on a screen and the word that I saw at the bottom was leukodystrophy. And my heart sank. And I thought, there's no way this can't be his story. And sure enough, the doctor said to us, you need to know this is not going to get better. This is only going to get worse. And she must have repeated that phrase to us about 10 times. This is not going to get better. This is only going to get worse. And my world crashed in that day. On November 7th, 2007, um, Judson passed away from Crabbe leukodystrophy. The day we took Judson to the doctor to the day that he died was five months. I do remember there was a moment sitting in our office and it was where we had spent most of our time with him and I was feeling the gap of him not being with us. And it was probably a couple months after he died and I just remember thinking, there is greater purpose than what those two and a half years were. I absolutely wanted to be the voice where Judson could no longer speak. Uh, I remember a lawyer saying to us, if you ever want to start a nonprofit, come to me. I want to make that happen for you. And so when an opportunity to incorporate as a nonprofit presented itself, I was really nervous about that. I actually didn't, I didn't feel like I had the tools and I wasn't equipped to run a nonprofit. And yet, we've been able to raise over $100,000 for leukodystrophy research. I will never stop fighting. This is my life's work. It's what I'm called to do. I will always be a voice of hope in suffering. I will always fight for these kids who are struggling. This is what I'm gonna do. It's my life. <laughs> As a mother myself, I'm in awe of the strength and dedication that Christina has shown in the wake of this incredible loss. Her selfless desire to help others through her son's memory is truly inspirational and a reminder that a mother's love knows no bounds.